Let us look at a similar example. Let's say we have another container containing three liquids and a body immersed in this fashion. Say this height is H1, this height is H2, this height is H3. The density of this body, let's say, is rho. This is, let's say, row 1, row 2, and row 3. These are the densities of the three liquids. Say this height is capital H1, say capital H2, and this is capital H3. Let's say our goal is to find out the net force due to the liquid on this body, or the three liquids rather on this body. So the F net is basically going to be the force due to 1, the force due to 2, and the force due to 3. If we consider this top part, let's say we consider this top part, the force acting along this downward direction due to this height of the fluid is going to be, let's say we draw this separately. This is the body of rho. This force is going to be rho 1 into capital H1 minus small h1 times g times the cross sectional area. The force on the bottom part of this body is going to be the pressure exerted along, I mean, by this liquid plus this liquid plus this height of rho 3. So this is going to be rho 1 times capital H1 into G times A plus rho 2 into capital H2 into G times A plus rho 3 into small h3 times G into A. This is in the downward direction, sorry, upward direction, and this is in the downward direction. The net force is, let's say, going to be equal to this whole thing minus this thing. Let's write that in an ordered way. So if we subtract this quantity from this, we have rho 1 h1 g a minus rho 1 h1 G A, which comes from the com comes from this expression, plus rho two H two G A plus rho three H three G A. Also, we will have rho 1 into h1 to g into a. Note that this minus sign gets cancelled off because of the negative sign which we applied while subtracting this quantity from this. This part gets eliminated. Now we have this, this and this. If we look at this setup, h2 is nothing but this height again. So we can also write h2 being equal to small h2 and this quantity being this. This is let's say f2, this is f3 and this f1. So the net force due to these, these entire these uh, liquids will be this quantity. So we have rho1 into small h1 into g 
into a plus rho 2 into small h2 to g into a plus rho 3 into small h3 into g into a. This is going to be the net force applied on this body due to all these three liquids. Note that our previous expression what we got was something of this format. This is what we got from the previous question. We said that this is the weight of the liquid displaced by the top portion of the body and this is the weight of the liquid displaced by the bottom portion of the body. Same thing is applicable here. This is the weight displaced of the liquid rho 1 by this part of the body. This is the weight of the liquid displaced by this part of the body of the liquid rho 2. And this is the weight displaced of liquid rho 3 by this part of the body. Hence this expression in general holds for say we have n liquids. If we have n such liquids, we will still have this condition holding true.